The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're going to make our own kicks using Kick 2 by Sonic Academy. This plugin is the child of the Ableton sampler and maybe my Serum 808 tutorial. This plugin has a lot of the same functionality, but packaged together into one. So I have a drum loop from Hot Tropics. I made a sub to go with it. This is just an 808 from Urban Beats put into a sampler and played kind of like a uh, bass guitar. And while there is a kick in this loop, it's not very powerful, it's kind of hollow. We're gonna be making the uh, kind of powerful kick to go along with it. And that's gonna come out of kick two. Before we pull up the plugin, I'm just gonna put some MIDI on this channel. That way, when kick two is open, it'll give us quarter notes. This four to the floor in the treasure chest in pop and progressions. Quick time saver to just drop a uh, kick loop into your song if you're looking for some quarter notes. Then we'll go over here, grab kick two. Double click it, and uh, we're ready to go. So by default, it gives us uh, this kick drum. You can scroll through the presets. It gives you some 808 presets first. There's actually some good kicks in here. The whole tutorial could just be me hitting the right button and we will find plenty of good kicks that would work for this loop, but that's not the point of today. So we're gonna go back to our default and we are going to make something from scratch. Now I know for sure that I want a short kick. This default was pretty long. Let's just solo our kicks channel. So know about that length is gonna be good. And I know that this song is an F. So I want these last two points to be an F so that when it rings out with our sine wave, it doesn't clash with the uh, sine wave in the channel below it. And uh, I mean, let's bring down the beginning of this. It feels kind of like high up there. As you could hear, as you move these little pivot points around, you can make a pretty big change in the way the sub sounds. Do you produce music and love making fat Moomba 10 beats? Are you addicted to the dance hall rhythm? Do you find yourself using that same old reggaeton loop again and again? Then we've got the product for you. Get your coconuts ready for Hot Tropics, our brand new sample pack of Moomba 10 Afro beat and dance hall hits. Here at Whole Loops, we've handcrafted over 200 organic loops and recipe kits for your tropical bangers. Hot Tropics is available now at wholeloops.com. Nice slow fall off right there. Now this click is super weak. We're gonna be loading up our own. Go in here and these are all the kicks that are in Hot Tropics. You don't even have to pick one in here. You could just click on the first one. Make sure you solo your click section. And you can just let it play and just hit the next button until you find the, the perfect click for what you're looking for. Kind of like that, it's a little gritty. It has a little bit of junk at the end. We can go into the envelope just for this, cut that out. There's a little bit of uh, silence in the beginning, so we can go and edit our start time. And then maybe we want to add a little uh, drive to just the click. The wave, tube, and clip distortion down here, or uh, wave's my favorite out of all these. Just give it a little bit of drive. Definitely cut some low mids out, boost some highs a little bit, and let's turn our uh, sub, oops, let's go back to our sub, pitch, and 
and we're going to kind of just bend this to fit nicely with our boom right around there sounds pretty nice i think i'm going to chop the tail of this off it's got too much noise over there at the end Let's hear what we get. When you pitch it down, it kind of uh, falls in and out of phase with the sub and you'll eventually find the right, that perfect spot. This is really the kind of tool where you just let it loop and you go to town with the knobs. There is no real right or wrong way of doing this because kicks and sub frequencies can be so finicky and you really got to get them exactly lined up. You'll spend a while just like going like this, you know, and trying figuring out really like how this, you know, parameter really affects the overall sound and that's just that goes for all of these controls uh, it certainly gives you plenty if you want to do something a little bit more organic sounding like maybe throw a uh, another kick in here and turn the velocity way down kind of as like a little fill to switch it up you can add some velocity to this whole thing right here adds that little quiet kick in there The beauty of this plugin, no matter what you do, it will never, ever, ever clip. So you don't have to worry about whether you're pushing things up too loud or whatever. Uh, this is a limiter. It will limit your kick on the way out. Overall, a really fun plugin. I love using Kick 2. I think you should use Kick 2 when you find yourself getting tired of just scrolling through one shots and one shots and trying to find the perfect audio file to match your song uh, kind of melodically. It's way easier to go in like this and just really create the perfect kick. So I hope this helped you uh, understand what's going on here. If there's another plugin you'd like me to demonstrate, just leave it in a comment below. And I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Peace out.